Hello to the Beijing News readers. I'm Linda Hamilton. Hello, Beijing News readers. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hello. Keep reading that news, okay? Yeah. Why? What happened here? Why did it take you so long? It took me a long. I'm I'm a slow starter. No, I truly felt that I had finished my journey with Sarah Connor. Yeah. I felt that the two that I did were very complete, and um, so I'm very surprised that I came back. But the fact that so much time has passed. Uh, and Sarah's story has changed a little bit, made me intrigued and made me very interested to return to see who she is today. So, um, so what's, uh, at what point did you ask the camera to make this film? Well, it was actually the other way around. Yeah. James Cameron asked me to do oh. the film. <laughs> uh, so he came to me and he said, I have a new story. Would you be interested in doing another Terminator movie? Yeah. And I said, well, let's hear the story. Yeah. So he told me the story, and I loved the story, and the new concept, and especially the evolution of my character, the way it was written, and also that he wanted to bring Linda back yeah. into the story. So I thought, well, this is the old team is together again, and that always brings us good luck. So yeah. I said to him, I said, of course, I would love to do it. character changes. Yeah. Um, Sarah Connor is 28 years older. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so that's, that's the big really. change. Um, but her story, the, the future has tweaked a little bit. So she's definitely um, without a mission. Yeah. And she's bitter and broken and in a very, very, very dark Place. And what, where we left her, she was in a slightly hopeful place, yeah. but not any longer. So that was uh, that was a huge leap to just take her that much farther into Never Never Land. Yeah. So about Anna's change, what is Anna's change? He has to talk about okay. it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think the big change is that there's an evolution in the character. Yeah. You know, I start out with the first Terminator being the machine that crushes everything, that terminates everything. In the second Terminator, I come back as the protector. And in this Terminator, I come back uh, as a Terminator that actually has gained human conscience, a human conscience, and starts thinking for himself and starts adopting certain human characteristics and behaviors and uh, that causes a certain conflict yeah. uh, in his existence. It is sad that you guys work so hard. So are you guys a uh, work holic? It's not sad that we work hard. It's fantastic to work hard <laughs> like that. My definition of happiness is waking up every day with too much to do. Aww. Because then um, there's no time for this to go wrong. It's just on task, on task, on task learning to not be stressed about the task, but just plowing ahead. No, I have a good balance between working hard and between playing. You know, so yeah, I believe in hard playing and in hard work. And, uh, but I think that if you have a goal, then it is always a lot of fun to work hard. You know, like for instance, if you have a movie to do, then you concentrate on a movie and you work, work, work on this movie. Then when the movie is over, everyone goes home and then you relax. Yeah, you're the Chinese audience always dead because you are so handsome when you was young. And now you can use your face, but you must fight with uh, and performers. So do you, uh, how, how do you think about this evaluation? Well, I think that I'm always angry when I do a movie and the director and the makeup artists try to make me look older. I don't know why. I mean, it's like they put the beard on me, then they put the extra lines in my eyes, then they gray my hair, and they make all, they all these kind of things to make me look older. 
I'm already old enough. I don't need to be older. I'm already 72, so why make me look older? It's, it's crazy. Well, it happens to be uh, the position of one of my, uh, you know, in one of my movies, which is Commando, when I have this missile launcher in my hand. So it just happens to be exactly the same size and the same position. So it works very well for that. So I'm honored that everyone is carrying me around in their pockets. Is that expensive to buy the phone case? It's not expensive, no. Well, I mean, the, the, go ahead, Linda, if you have a... Um, if you manage your time well, <laughs> there will always be enough time. Yeah. Because yeah, we think you are so busy, a lot of things which you have to deal with. Yeah, but the, the day has 24 hours. <laughs> so we sleep six hours. Six hours? Yeah. <laughs> no? You, you need more? You need more sleep? Uh, I, I need 10, 10 hours. <laughs> then uh, maybe what you should do is sleep faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. How, how to sleep And then, uh, well, then you have to figure it out. <laughs> but I mean, uh, so I, I think six hours, people should sleep six hours. And then you have 18 hours left. So I think then, then you work 10 hours. So now you have eight hours left. Then usually you're stuck in traffic for two hours. So then you have six hours left. So what do you do in the six hours? You see, you have time to work out, you have time to read and to, yeah. to learn, you have time to love, you have time for your relationships, everything. Okay. Okay, so it's just like Linda says, you know, how do you schedule it? You have to be efficient, management, time management, yes. Yeah, well, that's wonderful.